Hello Pisces, this is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 25th of August 2023. Pisces, I hope you've had a great week, looking forward to the weekend and with that said, let's jump in. Here we go. Now the deck that I'm using is the Tower Royale by Cherry Marchetti. Okay. If this resonates with you, you can book a private reading with me. You know that it's all in the description box, together with information pertaining to joining the channel if you're interested. Okay, Pisces, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Friday, the 25th of August, 2023. Oh, Pisces. <laughs> They're coming out already, Pisces. What is happening for my lovely Pisces? Thank you, Michael. I'm seeing somebody with their fingers crossed. I don't know what that means. Somebody may be hoping, Pisces, to have the courage to move towards you, to speak to you, to... I'm hearing ask you out. Okay, we'll see, guys. We will see. Anything else, Michael? Yeah, those two. All right, Pisces, that's it. Let's see what we have, guys. So, Pisces, we start off with the energy of the fall. Now, this is potentially someone who is wanting to take a leap of faith and a risk and jump towards you. They're thinking about the Knight of Coins. They're thinking about offering you some form of commitment. Now, this could be a younger uh, sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They know it's risky because with the energy of the Hermit, they may have left you out in the cold. But this is someone who is wanting to be with you. With the energy of the Five of Wands, there could have been a few arguments and disagreements with this person. Maybe with the energy of the Four Pisces, you felt that... This was someone sitting in playful energy. You may have pushed this person away, but actually they wanted to build a relationship with you. Pisces, you had issues with this person. This is someone who may have jumped into your life and then quickly left. And so with the energy of the Page of Swords, this is you potentially in the past being very honest with this person and basically letting them know that you were not interested. I think with the energy of the Two of Swords, you may even have blocked this person because they may have carried a very light-hearted, playful energy that may have made you nervous. But with the Death card, they're coming back. They're coming back to say they've closed out a cycle of being a little bit childish, a little bit impetuous and this is someone who is wanting to offer you commitment with the queen of coins they're wanting you to take them seriously this is someone pisces who simply may not have wanted a relationship before and what they've realized is they do now but they're not sure of your reaction okay pisces let's jump into the second deck this is the Tarot du Soleil. Let's see what comes through. What do we have, Michael, for my lovely Pisces? Thank you. I'm hearing on a wing and a prayer. So this is somebody who may feel as if you're not interested anymore. They may assume you're going to push them away, but they're coming in. They're coming in, Pisces. They're wanting to talk. I think it might have been a bit of a shock that you blocked this person. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, Michael. Let's see what we have, people. So, Pisces, we start with the energy of the devil. <laughs> now, this is either somebody who's a bit obsessed with you, Pisces, or this could simply be a Capricorn. But whoever this person is, with the Seven of Cups, they were a bit obsessed about juggling you with other options. They basically didn't really want to commit. With the Two of Coins, they couldn't make a decision as to whether or not to offer you a stable relationship, so they sat on the fence for the longest time. And with the energy of the Hermit, you felt left out in the cold. I don't think you pursued them. With the energy of the strength card, you held back, Pisces. You could have Leo in your chart or you were connecting to a Leo. With the two of swords, you definitely blocked this person. 
you thought, I'm not going to be messed around, I'm going to leave it. But with the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins, they're coming back in now to say to you that they are simply ready. They're offering you the Ace of Pentacles because they believe, Pisces, that you could be their Ten of Cups. Really lovely energy. But Pisces, is it too late? Is it too late? It may be. You may well have moved on or you may not trust this person, but we'll find out. If you're interested, guys, the signs on the board are Virgo, Capricorn, possibly Taurus, Aries and Scorpio. OK, most significantly. All right, let's get into this. Where does this story start for my lovely Pisces, please, Michael? Thank you. Where do we start? Hangman. <laughs> your card of Pisces, beautiful. So Pisces, you have just been doing your thing, relaxing, not stressing about anything in particular, possibly concentrating on your career. The divine may be asking you to look at the situation from their perspective. Okay. Page of Wands. This is somebody who simply wanted a light-hearted flirtation. But Pisces, you may have been sat in a very serious energy wanting a relationship. Hmm. And I think you push this person away. With the Wheel of Fortune, they may have felt that it was destiny that they met you, but you decided to move in the opposite direction. Because, Pisces, with the Eight of Swords, you were simply in your head. I don't think you trusted that this was actually going to go anywhere. And I think there was a lot of confusion. What is wrong with this person? They're not moving things forward. You may have felt as if this person just disconnected from you. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this whole situation caused you some stress. And I think you just decided to head off in another direction. Yeah, wow. Six of Swords. So you move forward in a new direction, Pisces, away from this person. All right. Whatever you felt was going on, you just thought, it's not worth my time. It's not worth, it's not worth my energy. This person obviously isn't that interested. Yeah. Faith card. You could have walked away from a Taurus with the energy of the faith card. But I think, Pisces, if this person reached out, you spoke your truth. Yeah. You shifted from the Queen of Cups into the Queen of Swords. This is you maybe hearing from this person again, but quite a while later, could be months later. But by that time, you were very guarded. And with the Ace of Swords, I think you said to this person, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Simply that. Simply that. Hmm. So Pisces, they're coming back now with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of communication from this person. Now, Pisces, if you block them, they're going to find another way of reaching out. If they live at a distance, they want to come and see you. Yeah, what they want to say to you is, Pisces, it was a tower moment to realise that you actually blocked me. Aries Scorpio energy. Was it because there were a few arguments? Was it because you were confused? Five of Wands. Six of Wands, I wanted to be victorious with you. I don't quite understand why you blocked me. Because with the Knight of Cups, I had emotion for you. All right. What is Pisces going to say? Well, it was very clear, since you disconnected from me for several months, that with the Three of Cups, you were off having fun with other people. I wasn't going to sit around and just be an option. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of Swords. I realised that you possibly had other people that you were interested in and I just didn't want to be one of many. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it might have been a third party situation and so I thought it was best to block you. You didn't communicate anyway, right? You left me out in the cold. Three of Wands. What this person is going to say to you is it might have been Pisces that they lived at a distance and they didn't feel this was going to work out. It might be that what they're saying to you now is that they feel as if you're the one. Hmm. They feel as if you're the one. They feel as if you're their ten of cups. So Pisces, they're coming back in to sort of try again with you. They're a bit obsessed with locking you down. Devil energy again, although you could be connecting to a Capricorn. 
What is Pisces saying to this person? Hmm, strength card. It must, it must have taken you quite a lot of courage to reach back out, considering that I blocked you, considering that you haven't been in touch for a long time. You left me out in the cold. That's why I held back. What's changed, says Pisces? What's really changed? Knight of Swords. There might have been some harsh communication before. Six of Cups. I think you're a little bit testy at this time, Pisces, because you're cross. They're coming back as if nothing ever happened. They're coming back to say, I'm angry that you blocked me. I'm angry that you weren't interested when I reached back out to you again. Pisces, what you're saying to this person is, well, yeah, but there was no communication after we first started dating for like six months is what I'm getting from this. Because this person put you out in the cold and you were conflicted. Why? Why did they suddenly leave and there was no more communication? So you're standing your ground, Pisces. This person may try and play the victim, you know. Yeah. Ten of Swords. What you're saying to this person is, yes, you're coming back to offer me commitment now, but you caused me to sit in the Ten of Swords. I felt betrayed because obviously you chose somebody else or you decided you didn't want to pursue the connection. That is why I blocked you with the Two of Swords. That's the reason. What is this person going to say? Okay. Seven of Wands, they may just say to you, Pisces, oh, well, uh, I've pushed other people away. I'm not interested in anyone else now. Hmm. Yes, they are going to say with a judgment card that they've made a decision not to pursue anyone else. They're pushing away other messages from other women or other guys, right? The Moon. They may be hiding that they had to make a decision about a Cancerian or a Sagittarius. But they're not going to tell you that. They're hiding that. Yeah. They were, Gemini energy too there, they were actually quite interested in someone else, although they're not going to tell you that. They're going to make out as if, oh, well, I was just playing the field. No, there was someone in particular that they were interested in, but I don't think it worked out with that person. Queen of Cups. What they're saying is they want to be with you now, Pisces. They want to be with you now. Oh, they really do. Four of Wands. They really want to make it work with you. What else are they going to say to my Pisces? You may be a bit surprised here, Pisces. I mean, this person comes back. I mean, this person comes back as if they are angry that you blocked them. But from what I can see, this person hasn't been in touch for a long time. They're going to make out as if, no, I'm not interested in anyone else. I'm just interested in you. But there was someone that they were hanging on to previously. Four of coins. And they are now trying to hang on to you. What is Pisces going to say? Six of coins. Are you sure you're ready? You're not dating anyone else? Because with a Nine of Cups, I don't want to be in a situation where you're not ready to commit, says Pisces. What is this person going to say? I'm sorry. Okay. So they're going to leave their pride at the door. If they come forward to you, Pisces, a little bit arrogant. I can't believe you blocked me. You're the only person I was interested in. Pisces, you're going to stand your ground and say, no, no, no. You didn't speak to me for a long time. We had a few dates, you disconnected. You obviously chose somebody else or played the field. That's fine, but don't make out that you're angry that I blocked you for no reason. Because you and I both know that you were messing around with somebody else or simply wanted to see if the grass was greener. And I think when you say that, Pisces, they're going to say, OK, sorry, Pisces, page of cups, yeah, OK, you're right. What else are they going to say? But eight of cups, I definitely don't want to be with anyone else. <laughs> so Pisces, you're going to call this person out, okay? Because they're going to come in with a little bit of BS, but you're going to call them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, temperance. What they're going to say is, look, I've tempered my passions. With a king of wands, I'm very attracted to you and I want to be with you. So Pisces, they are going to apologise if they come in a little bit arrogant, as if they are angry that you blocked them. No, no, no. You're going to call this person out. <laughs> the world. All right, so with the energy of the world, Pisces, you guys have a chance of moving forward onto a new cycle. Hmm. Yeah. Ace of Cups, there is genuine love this person has for you. But Pisces, I feel this may work because you're acting out of self-love, right? Hmm. You're looking at the past with the Seven of Pentacles. You're wondering if this could work. You're wanting someone loyal, Pisces. Okay, you're going to sleep on it. This person won't like that, but you're not going to make any snap decision. What else is Pisces going to say, Michael, apart from the fact that you want time to think? What is Pisces going to say? Two of Cups. Okay. Pisces, the jig is up. You really do have feelings for this person. What you're thinking about is, okay, they weren't ready to play the field. This is someone who wanted to see who else was out there. Yes, they decided to give it some time before coming back to me, but maybe they wanted to be sure. And there is love, Pisces, you have for this person. What are they saying to Pisces, Michael? I've missed you. Four of Cups. I know that you may turn me away. I know. Okay, so they're going to come in a little bit arrogant, pretending that they're cross that you blocked them. But Pisces, very quickly, when they realise that you're having none of it, they're going to be apologising and basically saying, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Um, they're going to be quite vulnerable with you. Yeah, the death card. They do want to transform the situation. Scorpio energy. Final card for Pisces, Michael. The sun. Leo energy. So Pisces, I do think this has a chance of working out. But you're definitely going to stand your ground. And if you feel this person is trying to play the victim, you're going to snap them out of it very quickly. Okay? All right, guys. Let's move into messages. Here we go, guys. Andromeda Sky, Silent Heart, Love, Oracle. So what is this person wanting to say to Pisces, Michael? <laughs> oh, now that is a very special card. Spiritual Awakening. Pisces, did this person mess around with other people and then realise that there was a very strong connection to you? The sun can be awakening. The death card can be going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, I wish you knew how grateful I am to have met you. This is somebody who's coming back full of remorse and regret. But they're going to come in super confident to begin with. Please don't move on, says this person, Pisces. Oh, okay. Yeah, rose-coloured glasses. I think, Pisces, this is someone who thought the grass was greener. This is someone who thought, oh, well, Pisces is lovely, but let's just see who else is out there. Yeah, they took the rose colored glasses off Pisces and realized nobody was like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want a new beginning with you, Pisces. This is someone desperate to get back into your life. I'm filled with regret, guys. Yeah. You make me nervous. Oh, yeah, Pisces, you made this person nervous because you understand that they are not as sweet and innocent as they made themselves out to be, right? <laughs> you see through this person. What are you going to say to this person, Pisces? <laughs> oh, so you may recognize this person as a divine counterpart. What you may say to this person is you felt they might have been sitting in toxic energy before. And that's why you gave them the silent treatment. But you did feel as if you wanted to fix things with this person. You may see them again, Pisces, and think, you know what? Yeah, the connection was there. I had emotion for this person. You do feel like you can be totally yourself around them, which is really important. Okay, obstacles. I'm making changes for the better. So Pisces, it could be that you're very busy. It could be that you guys live at a distance. 
I feel as if you believe that you guys could make it work if you two can get over the obstacles. Now, it could be Pisces, you put up blocks, okay? And what you're saying to this person is, I'm going to be giving you more of my time. So you may have not been sure if you wanted this to really work before because you felt this person was interested in other people. What you're saying now, Pisces, is I'm ready to free up my diary to make sure that we can spend time together because, Pisces, you may know that that was part of the problem, okay? All right. So, people, I'm going to leave the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Pisces.